starting now. Hi, good morning, everyone. This is Marcy from PNS and Nina. Welcome to our demo with Notarize Genie. I'm so happy to have you all here. Um, certainly, as we go throughout this demonstration, you can feel free to put some questions in the Q&A box, and we'll be happy to answer any of those. I just want to preface by saying, um, and Notarize Genie guys will tell you in a minute about themselves, and they'll tell you where they're available. They are not currently in New York, um, but they're working towards that. So we went ahead with the demo anyway. So I just want to make sure that you're all aware this is not, um, if you're from New York, this is not available to you right this minute, but they are working towards that. So I'm going to turn it over to these guys. They're going to go ahead and introduce themselves and we'll get started. So welcome. Thank you so much for coming this morning. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us. So my name is Chris Adams. I'm the CEO of Notarize TV. And I'm Robert Adams, and I'm the COO of Notarize Genie. So we started this platform. Uh, so a little bit about us quickly. Um, we're not just people that came to, oh, let's make a platform. We are actually notaries ourselves. Um, we've done over, I think combined, we've done over 10,000 notarizations online ourselves. Uh, I myself was the director of operations for one of our competitors that you guys probably know and I won't mention. Uh, and Chris was also a national sales director for that competitor. So uh, we have come together and the, the main drive of creating this platform is to create a platform for notaries by notaries. Um, and you'll see, and, and, and as we go through this, our fees are a lot less. So you guys keep more money in your pocket. Um, and we want to offer the platform to anyone to take our on-demand sessions as well as bringing your own transactions and make it fair and we listen. So tools and, and features that you would like to see, we've already implemented. And if we haven't thought about it, you guys are sure will tell us and we'll probably implement it as well. So, all right, ready to go. Yeah. So for this demo, I'm gonna be the notary and Chris is gonna be the um, the signer. So before we begin, when you come to notarizegenie.com, you can sign up by clicking the sign up button here, but we really want you to take a look at our packages first. So we click on notary packages, we only have two. First, you're never gonna to pay to take any of our sessions. So you take, if you want to start with the free plan, there's no monthly subscriptions required. You do get standard access to the Notarized Genie on demand queue. You have access for bringing your own transactions to our witness pool. So we have witnesses available for you if you have to bring your own transaction. We are not putting any limits on the number of signings, number of packets, number of documents in a transaction. There's no limits on that. We're not going to say you get five signing packets a month. We're not doing that. Whatever you want to bring, bring it. Our doc prep tech fee on bring your own transactions, we are 10%. Obviously, we have a 10-year audio video storage with your notary journal. We can have up to 10 participants in a single session, and that includes the notary. So really nine people added to the session after yourself. We can up that limit if we if we find that there are sessions that you need more than 10 people, feel free to let us know, but we think 10 is a safe number. And then on the free plan, you'll notice the costs. So these are bring your own transaction costs. So if you bring your own transaction, the first stamp is going to cost you $9.99. If the signer pays, they're going to pay $24.99. We take $9.99. You take the rest of that, plus the rest of your doc prep tech fees if you add that in. Each additional stamp, you're only going to pay us $4.99 for it. The signers pay $9.99. Uh, additional signers, that is a fee. We take a $99, or I'm sorry, $9.99, and then notarized genie witnesses are $14.99 that we would pay. So overall, I think that money coming to you guys for your first and second stamps and the doc prep tech fee is going to be uh, pretty significant if you bring your own transaction. For notarizing on our on-demand queue, it's $5 for the first stamp is what we pay you and a dollar each additional stamp within the same session. Okay. Now, Can you just problem. explain a little bit, I'm so sorry, about the pay 10% on the doc prep and tech fees? What is that exactly? So when you're creating a bring your own transaction, you have the choice. You know, either the signer is going to pay and they're going to pay the standard platform fees. And then you get a, there's a space and we'll show you when we're creating a session. Uh, there's a space where you can put in your own doc prep tech fee. So if you're doing a deed for somebody, and, and obviously I don't know what New York is, but it, you know, if it's only $10 for the notary, that's all I'm really going to charge or $24.99. I'm going to add in an additional $50 or $75 for my services, convenience fee, prepping the document. 
And that ten, we only take 10% of that additional fee that you add in. Understood. I appreciate that. And as for the notary journal and the um, AV storage, if the, on this particular um, package, I guess the question is, and maybe the pay to spell, do the notaries always have access back to that for the 10 years that you're holding it if they needed it for something? Could they download it and take it with them or do store it and they just have access whenever they need to go back and look at it or give it to the SOS? Yeah, so we absolutely have access to it the entire 10 years. The um, right now we so we are working on the export of the notary journal, the actual line items themselves. Um, but the videos are downloadable. So if you wanted to download it instantly and save it to your own repository, you're welcome to do that as well. Perfect. So yes, they will have that. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of where you're available, and I, then I will let you proceed. Is there someplace on the site that you can tell me that, or are you currently available outside of New York in all of the the Ron states? So we're actually um, all of the Ron states and we're super close to New York, actually. So we, uh, we're we implementing one more piece. It's a biometrics for New York notaries or New York signers going to New York notaries. So um, that is actually a couple of days out from being done. Once we've tested that to make sure that it works for uh, that additional biometrics being added, then we're good to go with New York. So yeah, any Ron state that's approved, um, including Arizona, even though their fees are very low. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. I will let you proceed. Okay, sure. All right. So now what's the difference between the free and the pro plan? Obviously, you're going to pay $29.99 per month. It does require the subscription. You do get the standard access to the on-demand. Um, you do still get to use our witnesses uh, for any of your bring around transactions, but the ability to act as a witness now opens up to you. So we, you'll see when we log in as a notary, there's two queues. One is for any on-demand sessions that are coming in, but then there's an also, there's a witness queue. So any session that a notary takes and they need a witness, it's gonna show up here. So you as a notary can take that session as well. And you're gonna get paid $5 for acting as a witness on that session. Again, unlimited signings, no doc tra or transaction limits. Do as many as you'd like, however big the packet is. Um, you are only going to pay 5% on your doc prep tech fees. Obviously, the 10-year audio video storage is required by law, up to 10 participants. And then your session costs are basically cut in half. So you're paying $5.99 to notarize you for that first stamp. So if it's $24.99, we're only taking $5.99. So you're saving some significant cash. Questions? Good. If you do no, have any sorry, questions. No for... questions. No, everybody's right. good. Oh, wait, I All have right. one question. I lied. Hold yeah, on. go for Jennifer, it. Jennifer, do you want to oh, go ahead? You can throw it in the chat or in the Q&A. Are we seeing it? I see it in the chat here. I have a question. For a large yep. firm, would you recommend the free plan? Um, it depends like on your a packet. Law, like a law yeah. firm? I want to make sure I clarify when you say firm, Jennifer. Do you mean like a law firm? Yes. Okay. So we actually have separate packages for uh, businesses. Um, hang on one second here if I can get this to get out of my way. So here's our business packages for businesses. So we do have a SANS package, which is the free package. It's pay as you go. Uh, includes up to two signers per session. And, and actually, this is moot. This is... Uh, yeah, it's, it, you can have up to 10 participants on the session, but it includes the first two. The rest of the centers are $9.99. Uh, you can purchase the stamps on the free plan. They're all $24.99, so it's a pay-as-you-go. Um, witnesses for businesses are $9.99, um, and then again, up to 10, set, uh, per thing. So, uh, 10 participants per session. So if you have an in-house notary, and we haven't built this out yet, it's actually in process of connecting the... Uh, we actually saw it this morning. It looks really great. Uh, so if you have a paralegal that wants to to um, that you want to notarize your documents for your firm, we can connect those accounts and then you just go through and complete these. And this would be a way to actually increase revenue for your firm. So you would charge your clients an additional fee, like here's a hundred you know, $125 convenience fee or an online fee or whatever, but then you pay directly to notarize Genie of these prices. And the higher you go, the lower your stamp prices are going to be. So if you do $374.99 a month, you get the 25 free stamps, obviously it's like a prepaid account. And then each stamp is $14.99 after that. And right. go ahead, Chris. And tomorrow we're actually testing a business, the firm, adding an in-house notary and being able to act as a notary for that firm. 
And then you could go either to the free account or the paid subscription. Obviously, Obviously if you're going to be notarizing, notarizing a lot, lot then, then it's best to go on the pro plan. And I assume if they have multiple individuals in their firm who are notarizing that they could contact you and work out some sort of arrangement in these plans, right? For multiple um, users yeah. of that account. Absolutely. So we have, so on our homepage, um, and we absolutely like recommend this because everyone's going to be different. We do have these set plans. We can do custom pricing um, depending on how. So right now, yeah, if you have a paralegal in your firm that you want to do all, they can create their own notary account. Uh, that's fine. It's just going to be a notary profile where they're just going to be inviting their own clients. They're going to get paid um, from Notarized Genie, though, you know, the same as any notary would be for bringing your own transactions um, while they're on the clock with you at working. So they're actually going to get paid both. And if the firm's paying for those sessions, um, you might want to look into that. So that's why call us, book a demo, click on our website here at the very, on the very front page, book a demo. You'll talk with Chris and I, we'll walk through and look at your, uh, your use case and come up with the best solution for you. Maybe it is one of these static plans, or maybe we need to make a custom plan for you. And to answer your question, Marcy, when we have a business account, the business can now can add uh, notaries into their business. So if they have four or five in-house no notaries, then they will be able to select who they want to take that transact. Perfect. That's great. I also want to remind you, uh, not you guys, but the um, attendees, you want to make sure that you follow your state laws. So some states don't allow for convenience fee or online fees, right? New York is very specific in that you're $25 per notarial act is all inclusive. So you want to make sure that you're, you know, you're aware of your state laws, what you can and cannot charge, but you call those things. But certainly, thank you so much. I think that was the only question and we can proceed. Okay, great. Um, okay, so if you're new to the platform, so real quick, we do have a coupon code we're going to offer uh, any notary that's signing up. You can get 30% off of your pro plan for the first three months. So it makes it, it's, it's $20.99 for the, the pro plan for the first three months. Uh, it's PRO30 and it's all caps. So capital P, capital R, capital O, three zero. And when you put that in, it drops it down for three months, 30%. So when you sign up, you're going to automatically be defaulted to the free plan. So we're not going to force you guys to, you know, we're not going to make it look like we want you to sign up and pay. Uh, again, we're built by notaries for notaries. All right. So come to the page, click sign up, uh, go to your packets, you go to the, uh, the packages, pick which plan you like, click sign up. And we're going to walk through how to create a um, notary profile which is pretty standard from any platform if you look at it across the board. And here's that code PRO30 and verified, coupon code verified, click sign up. Now it's gonna take you into your, uh, it's gonna take you into create your profile. So here we go, user created, there's no data found for this, please complete your profile. You're going to enter your information exactly how it is on your notary commission. And this is our address. So if you're ever in Sebring, Florida, and you want to stop by and say hi, we'd love to see you. We'd love to meet you. <laughs> All right. So that's county, not country, you guys. And next. All right, so uh, the NNA signing details. Uh, so this is optional for those that are bringing their own transaction. Um, however, if you wanna take our on-demand, we do require you to be an NNA signing agent, which means that you have passed the background check and uh, you've, you've passed the exam. So when you enter that in, you're gonna click verify. We're verifying your details with the National Notary Association. It's looking at your signing agent profile and grabbing those relevant details and it's gonna bring them in. Uh, once it verifies, you'll see this is the date that you passed your exam and this is the date that, you're, that you passed your background screen. So next, it's also gonna pull in your commission information, your number and uh, the expiration date. All you have to do now 
is upload your actual traditional certificate. So let me find mine here. Notary credentials, there it is. Okay, so I've uploaded my actual certificate. It's that pretty one that you hang on the wall. Now it is going to pull in the information that's on your signing profile, like the amount of your insurance and the expiration date, but you'll just have to put in um, who your provider is and what your policy number is. And then from here, you're going to upload a hard copy of that as well. I just want to make sure that correctly. Is it they're required to have a hundred thousand dollars worth of ENO to use notarized genie? Is that correct? Exactly. Yeah. So uh, um, for bring your own transactions, we're not going to require this uh, hundred thousand. You could do your state minimums, but if you want to do our on demand, we want you to be covered because you are taking our business clients that we're out there actively. Uh, so. It could be from anywhere in the world or anywhere in the country or any sign or any in the world. Um, but it's an extra layer of security for you. Remember, your bond protects the public, your ENO protects you. So we do require at least a hundred thousand dollars if you're going to take our on demand. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. So upload your ENO policy, hit next. And here's your digital certificate. Now it is a PFX or P12. So there's that third format that you actually, when you get it from Identrust, you'll have to convert it and they have steps on how to do all that fun stuff. Um, but if you need help, we'll go ahead and get you the uh, directions on that. Uh, we do have directions on how to convert it. Okay. When it's uploaded successfully and you put in your password right, you'll see your valid and to, uh, to and from dates here. So that's when you'll know your digital certificate has been accepted. And if you haven't purchased, if you don't have a signature that you can upload, you uh, you can create it here. So you can click, you know, blue ink and scribble. Or if you already have one that you really like using, go ahead and upload it as well. And some of you may have your signature from other platforms. Um, you can bring it over too. Now, if you have purchased a stamp, you can upload it. Some people like the round one or you can take the square one. Or if you click create, it's going to create it for you. You just make sure your information is correct, confirm and apply. And boop, there's our stamp. So now you don't have to buy it. If you have one you've already purchased, go ahead and upload it. But if you don't want, if you don't want to buy one, go ahead and just we'll create it for you. Next. Here's how we're going to pay you uh, for the bring your uh, for your on-demand sessions. So um, you want to click add your business information. So that's your notary business information. And let me actually hang on. I'm going to stop screen sharing for a second because I'm going to connect my real. While you do that, I'll have a couple of questions. Yep, go do for it. Do you provide the digital certificate or do they need to bring their own? You will need to. We are partnered with Identrust. Chris, I'll let you answer that if you want while I do this. Yeah, so they will have to bring their own. We do partner with Identrust. And if you scroll all the way down Actually, on the homepage, I can show them on that. Um, hang on one second. We do have a link to it on when you're uploading your certificate. Go ahead. And we also have it on our homepage on the on the footer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so while we're all right, so I can share a little bit of this. So by the way, our industry does not come up in Stripe. <laughs> so we're considered utilities. Uh, <laughs> if you have a profile or if you have a website, you can put yours in there. Um, if not, you can always put notarizedgenie.com. The next, so this is Stripe. This is all third party. This has nothing to do with us. Uh, we're just connecting you so we can pay you out. Um, and then you're going to connect either your bank account or your debit card, whichever is easier for you. So hang on one second. So just take a little bit, you know, to set up your profile. But once it's done, it's done. But I think we're all kind of familiar with how to set up our profiles online. And then I have a question in regards to attorneys who want to utilize your platform. Um, would their malpractice insurance be sufficient in lieu of ENO insurance? Yeah, that'd be okay. 
And um, I know that you only need the NNA certification for the on-demand, not if they brought their own clients. But would you require the attorneys to be NNA certified if they wanted to use your on-demand feature? It's a good question. Um, I want to say yes, but <laughs> I know attorneys would be like, why? Um, but because notarizations are so, yes, all most attorneys, not all attorneys are are notaries, uh, but not all notaries are attorneys. Um, but in their practice, sometimes they're not necessarily notarizing. So there are, you know, our industry is very specific on certain things and certain laws specific to notarizing. Um, even our attorney, Brian, who was on the call before we started this, um, he he did not know a lot about notarizing. Uh, uh, and so I want to say yes. Short answer, yes. All right. So that's fine. I, I own a signing company and I require my attorneys who work for me to be NNA certified. So I'm with you on that. And some of those, just to be clear, <laughs> some underwriters, right? And require that as well. So, all right. Perfect. Thank you. I will let you get back to it. That's all our questions. Yeah, of course. For now. All right. So once you've entered all your Stripe information, um, it's going to show up here on the screen. You'll have access to your Stripe dashboard and you'll be able to change your payouts either daily, weekly, or monthly. Looks familiar, doesn't it? And then you hit next. All right, so now you're gonna read through all the notary terms of service. Take your time, read through, next. Now you're gonna go through our privacy policy, take your time, read through, next. And the site terms of services, scroll through, make sure you read them, and then you get to take a quiz. This is our onboarding quiz. So <laughs> we wanna offer quality notaries to our clients. Uh, so we wanna make sure that you guys, and, and this is, um, pretty easy. Some of these questions, oh, pretty easy if you take the time and read it and follow through and you know, you know, you're professional, you know what you're doing. Um, but it is a little tricky. So I will warn you with that. We do require an 85% or greater. You do get a couple attempts. And if you fail it twice, you still get to meet with us to go through the demo of the site and we'll talk through the quiz together. Um, but I think, I think this group will be pretty good with. <laughs> So let me take this. I'm not going to share my answers with you. So hang on. <laughs> yeah. So um, while Robert's doing that, um, after we complete, uh, he said that you guys will be able to meet with us. So it'll allow you to pick a day and a time that's best for you to meet with us to go over a demo, go over pricing to talk about your use case um, and any other additional questions you have. Almost done. I came up with this quiz and it still uh, <laughs> trips me up once in a while. Are there any questions in the chat while I'm doing this? No questions. Okay. 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 Almost done. One more question. Okay. All right. All right. So, oh, look, I passed. So I did pass. And the reason I know I passed right away is because it took me to uh, pick a time, a date and time to meet with uh, Chris and I. So every notary that comes to the platform, like like Chris was saying, we um we want to meet we we want to meet you we want to we want to show you how to use the platform just like this. Uh, we want to get to know you. Want you to get to know us. Um, and so you pick your date and time and fill out the form. We'll say tomorrow at eleven thirty. We're going to confirm that you fill out the form. Um, and then you'll uh, Chris and I will get the calendar invite and that's it. So I passed the quiz and I hit finish, and that's it. So your notary profile is now set up. You're going to meet with Chris and I. You're not going to be able to do anything in here until your profile is approved. So you want to make sure you meet with us. Uh, so we'll review your profile. We'll meet with you. We'll walk you through how to use the site. And then, boom, you're active. So let me go ahead and you're going to go approve me, please. <laughs> All so right, after so they did this demo with you and you've approved them, is there ongoing training available for them? Are there videos they can watch? Yes. So we are actually, we're meeting with a marketing company tomorrow to, to uh, 
hammer out some videos that we'd like to, to have um, up for you guys. But yes, we are available. Uh, here's the other thing. We are available by phone. It's 1-800-381-8240. So we do have um, people that will actually answer the, answer the phone and answer your questions and help you find the answer if they don't know it. Um, and yeah, so we're here to help you. Email info at notarizedgenie.com or call us. We're, we're here to actually support in, uh, our notaries. And do you have actual support hours where they can reach you? Yes, yes. So Monday through Friday, support is nine to five. The platform obviously is going to be open 24-7 for notaries to take anything that comes in or for notaries to bring their own transactions. But yes, our support is Monday through Friday, nine to five Eastern. Nine to five Eastern. Oh, perfect. Um, and then I do have one question on here and then I'll let you go. So um, how much time is allowed per session? Is there a cutoff time as to how long the no. sessions can be? No. So as the director of operations for another company, I know that some things take longer than sometimes it takes longer than others. There is no, we're not dinging anyone on time. Um, so if you're taking an on-demand session and it runs 45 minutes, well, maybe that signer had to go get a second ID, um, you know, and it took them that, we're not, we don't, Whatever you need to do to get to it, we will have. So our attorneys are going to be spot checking our videos and documents to make sure you guys are following the laws. Um, and there's nothing in there that's, you know, you know, we're not cussing at anybody or anything like that. But, so we will check the quality. And um, but other than that, no, you're not going to get dinged on if there's a, there's no time limit on these. So that's actually a good point. And I just want to clarify. So I will be some spot checking. If you go into someone's, uh, you know, audio video and you see an issue or there might be some concern, is that a conversation? I assume that you bring back to the notary. I assume that you wouldn't automatically throw them off or maybe you would. Um, but would you advise them or let them know the corrections? that Absolutely. Need to make forward? Yeah, absolutely. There's platforms that I've worked on that were very rigid that, um, you made a, I mean, you know, I made a small mistake and I was threatened with, you know, being terminated immediately if it happened again. And it looked like it was super scary because it's coming from legal and compliance. And we're not going to do that. We know people make mistakes. We know people are still learning. A lot of notaries that are coming to us so far that have signed up are newer. Um, we are going to hold your, we're going to hold your hand if you're new and help you through this. And I know New York is a new state. Uh, so maybe online notarizations is new for, for a lot of New Yorkers. Um, Yes, we're not going to, we will have, you know, if we see something that's, you know, we're going to coach you, we're going to reach out to you, we're going to schedule a time, we're going to talk, um, we're going to talk about the issue and fix it. If it continues, if it's something that we see that's continuing, then we have a problem. Then we'll talk about um, terminating the, you know, a, a bit of uh, access to the platform. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Am I approved? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So when you log in, so this is, like I said, this is, everyone's going to be a set to uh, the free plan. And here's the on-demand queue. So on-demand, it's this is a de the default plan is the free plan. And you're only going to see the notary sessions that come in here. If you click on your little profile icon at the top and go to plans and billing, you'll see your active plan is uh, free. We are not, uh, we are not in control of your plan. Your plan is your plan. If you want to upgrade and downgrade, you can click switch at any time. Get started, $29.99. I want to do the pro plan. And see, I remember I put that coupon code in. It dropped it down to $20.99 for the first month. So you can subscribe from here. Um, that's it. And then if you, you know, one month, you know, you're going to be busy and you want to, uh, you want to upgrade, that's fine. Do that. And then the next month, you know, it's, it's going to be slower. You can downgrade. It's not going to be instant. It's going to carry out what you've paid. So there's no contracts, no, uh, nothing like that. You're completely in control of your of your plan. And actually, let me log into one that I know is a pro plan. All right. So here's my actual notary account, you guys. So if I go to on demand, here's the notary sessions and here's going to be the witness sessions. If a notary were to take an on demand session that requires a couple witnesses, um, when they start that session, that's when the witnesses are going to show up over here. So the notaries can join. It's one of two and two of two if it's two people that are needed. You join the session. Um, you sit there and you, you know, let the notary control the call. They'll tell you when to sign. They ask you the appropriate questions. And then you can exit the session once you're done signing. You don't have to stay on for the whole thing. And for doing that, you got paid five bucks. Now, let's go from our dashboard and let's invite a client. I'm going to fill in their first and last name and their email address. 
Do I personally know the signer or not? Yes, they're going to skip KBA credential analysis. No, they're going to go through it. So we're going to skip for, well, you want to skip for now or you want to try? You want to show them? Let's skip. Let's skip. Okay. <laughs> Again, you can have up to nine participants on this call. So, uh, so far we know we've got the notary and Chris, so we can add as many signers as we need. Or your notarized genie witnesses. Here's how you can pick one, two, three, or four. I don't think we ever really need more than two, but you know we can give you up to four if you need. And do you need a mediator? A mediator is going to be those attorney clients. They're those attorneys that want to join the session just to answer questions or those title agents that want to join the session because maybe they're, they're signers or they're, you know, the buyers have questions about whatever. Maybe the real estate agent wants to join. Whoever it is, you can add a mediator. This is a free function. Um, they, can't, they can't do any annotations on the document, but they are going to join audio video and they're going to be able to see the document and answer and interact with you guys. Okay. Will they be included as part of the 10 or is that outside of mm -hmm. the 10-year allowance? Yeah, they are included in part of the 10. That's fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to skip the mediator for now. Now say, yeah, so let's skip adding anybody for now. Let's go into the session. Oops, it didn't save that. I think I... Okay, next. Um, do you want to schedule it? If you want to schedule a date and time, everybody's going to get a calendar invite, and then you can all come into the session at the same time. If not, you want to do it now, just say no. Next. Um, sometimes notaries don't have the documents, and that's okay. You can skip this if you do not have the documents, um, but if you do, you can upload them. Let me see here. I wanted to do it by name. Let's add the Florida... Where is it? There we go. Let's add that one. And oh, we have another document too. Let's go ahead and add. Where is that? Drew. <laughs> Let me just pick something that's not, you know. <laughs> Here, we'll do hurricane receipts. That's a big document. All right. Yes, we went through a hurricane Ian, by the way. <laughs> it we came right over top of our home. All right, so you can add as many documents as you need here. If you don't want them, you can delete them. If you want to view them, you can go ahead and click on preview. We are adding an edit function, so you'll be able to prep the documents ahead of time. That's just still in the works. Uh, next, do you want to add any notes for yourself in your journal? So, you know, this was attorney, you know, the client from attorney, blah, 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 or not. Next. Okay, is the signer going to pay? If yes, they're going to pay the platform standard fees, and then you're only going to pay those, you know, whatever plan you're on, either the $9.99 for the first stamp or the $5.99 for the first stamp, whatever plan you're on. Um, if you have a doc prep tech fee that you, you know, a standard fee that you put in there, you can put it in here. This is where we're going to either take 5 or 10%, depending on the plan that you're on. Okay. Now, if the notary is going to pay, you put in your credit card, we'll charge your card for those base fees, you know, the, whatever plan you're on, and then you have to charge your client outside of the platform. Okay, so for now, let's say the signer is going to pay, and we're going to create the session. Okay, session is created. Now, you'll see it's not in the on-demand queue because I created that. That's my client. No one else can take that. So you're going to go to sessions, my sessions, and the first one right there, it's 243. So Chris received an email. Are you, can you show him? Do you want to show him? I forgot to tell you, you clicked, I had to go through KBA. Oh, did I? No. <laughs> so Chris, okay. Chris is going to go through KBA. It's good <laughs> practice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can they add notes? Uh, can they go back to the notes section after the session is done, like something came up and they want to notate it? Is that available to them once their session uh, is done? So here's the session. So in your journal... Here's, we'll take a look at the session while this is before it's completed. And unfortunately not, there is not a way to edit the notes, uh, but we'll take that as something we need to add. Because I like that idea. So edit And for the KBA portion, I'm sorry, maybe you mentioned this and I missed it. How mm -hmm. many attempts do they have before they're locked out and for how long? Yeah, so they get two attempts. It's a two minute, like they answer four out of five questions correctly within two minutes. And uh, so, like I said, they get two attempts. The first attempt, they fail. They get to try again. After that attempt, they're locked out for 24 hours before they can use the platform again. Great. And someone wants to know what is KBA? Can you do a 
short definition yeah. of that. Yeah, so it's knowledge-based authentication. So it's those questions, if you've ever tried to, uh, I don't know, verify yourself through, you know, going into a bank account or creating a new bank account or opening a credit card or something like that, they ask you those questions like, what color was your car in 1996? <laughs> You're like, gosh, I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, it's all it's it's all uh, questions are pulled from public and proprietary sources. We use ideology um, and ideology has 20 plus thousand sources that they use, um, or maybe even more than that, to pull uh, public and proprietary information. They present these questions to signers that only they know. So it's looking at their address, their name and the last four digits of their social security number. Well done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Of course. And then after they pass that, they're taken to an ID scan. So uh, ideology, again, we use them for both because it's just easier to use one vendor for two. Um, and we're adding in the biometrics as well. So then you scan your ID front and back. It's going to walk you through exactly how to do it. A QR code pops up on the screen for the signer. They scan it with their smartphone. And then on their phone, they're taking pictures of the front and back of their ID. It processes. And whenever you, uh, whenever it comes back that it's good, um, then Chris's screen should be saying, I'm finding a notary. Oh, he's finding a notary now. So this was a bring your own transaction. So he's not really finding a notary. He's just waiting on us to join. And here we go. Let me mute this. Is it because we're in the Zoom call? Yeah. <laughs> so our audio, our, our audio and video is Dolby, which is phenomenal. We have not had any issues with audio video knock on wood whatsoever. Um, we're seeing the gray screen because we're using the Zoom call. All right, so our videos do show up. Let me see if I can stop my camera on the Zoom. Hey there. Okay, can you guys still hear me? I hope. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Good. sorry. Good. Yeah. That's uh -huh. okay. All right. So you'll see this is why uh, the audio is not or the video is not working on the on the session because we're using it in, in Zoom. All right. Okay. And you guys can see the screen, right? Yes. Yes, good. we're all set. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay. So we do have a script that we provide to everybody. There are um, obviously you don't have to read it verbatim, but there are required questions you have to ask all the signers, um, all of your signers, even if you personally know them, you still have to ask them so it's on the recording. Um, so we'll provide you that script. But the first thing you're gonna do, obviously you're gonna introduce yourself. You know, hi Chris, my name is Robert. I'm a remote online notary and certified signing agent commissioned in the state of Florida. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. Good, before we begin, the session is being recorded. Are you okay with that? Yes. All right, just state your full name for the record for me. Chris, I'll be here. Perfect. Thank you. Give me one moment. I'm just looking at your ID to make sure you know you are who you are. All right. So this is where you so see on the top here, there's a verify ID button. You click on that, click on each of the uh, each of the signers are going to show up in this drop down and just look at their IDs and compare and make sure you know they are who they are. And if you're satisfied with that, you click verify and then you can go to the next person. Once you're done, you click verification complete. Okay. Yep. Will that be part of the recording? Like, will the recording see their ID front and back? So the recording is just the audio and video of us. We are working on a screen record because we want to be able to record the annotations. And not, we, don't, we can't think of anyone that's actually showing the screen in the audio video, like the actual document. So we want to be able to offer something like that. But that's not a bad idea. We can, we can definitely add that. These do stay part of the notary's journal, though. So they will be able to yes. see this. Excellent. Thank you so much. Of course. All right. All right. So once you've verified everyone's ID and you'll see the documents here are in a drop down. You can, as you change the document, it's going to flip the signer's documents as well. So Chris's screen is going where I want it to go. If uh, for some reason Chris said, oh, I forgot to add somebody to the call. We need another signer. Add participants. You can add additional signers. You can either personally know them or not. So just enter their name and email address. If you send them the email invitation instantly. Yes, and they'll come right in. If you need to add witnesses, because oops, we forgot we needed a witness, or sometimes notaries can act as a witness and a notary on a document, but maybe they're not comfortable acting as both because you know it depends on the state. It could potentially be a conflict of interest. There's a quiz answer, by the way. Uh, you can add as many witnesses as you need. 
and it'll go into the queue and the notaries that are available can jump in as, as witnesses. And of course, if the signers have a question and they want to bring in their title agent, their attorney, their friend, you know, they want to, whatever it is, they can, whoever it is, you can put them in there. They're not going to go through KBA or credential analysis because they're not doing anything except for answering a question or maybe just watching. Uh, so when you, when you do this, it'll send the invitation and they can jump right into the call as well. Okay. Anytime you do add a participant, you got to re-verify the ID. So just make sure you do that. Okay. I like this part. This is the coolest part. So all of our tools are going to be on the left-hand side, or I'm sorry, the right-hand side, and they're drag and drop. So if you click it, nothing's going to happen. But if you grab it and drag it over here, you're going to be able to edit the tools or edit the, you know, whatever you need. Um, and we'll add his address in here. And let's see here. Oh, Chris, I needed to initial in box A. Can you go ahead and do that? Uh, go ahead and use blue ink because we found that blue ink is a little bit more acceptable than black. Sign so here to get blue and black ink options. We are working on a type font as well for signatures. Um, go ahead and sign on B again, or initial, I'm sorry. Perfect, thank you. And if you use your next button, let's go down to page, let's go to page five. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and notarize your document for you. Okay. All right, so let's see, I'm going to fill in my county. Now they could prepare this document ahead of time, is that correct? We are going to, yes, we are working on adding that option to, to prep the document, yes. Perfect. Thank so you. for now, it's just drag and drop. Uh, we started building this in August, you guys. So seven months, and this is what we got. We're pretty, pretty excited about this. So, <laughs> if you want to add the date, uh, it's going to come out looking like that. You drag it in, but if you click the three dots here, you can change the format to what you need it to be, and then just add in your spacing. Oops, we'll have to make that a little bit bigger here. There we go. And then just bring that down in. All right. And we are going to add the signers' names as well, so you don't have to always type them. I'm trying to make as much of this stuff um, e easy for you, yeah, or convenient for you. And let's see, let's say he's personally known to me, and then I'm going to throw in an NA. We did have the NA tool, but it disappeared when we did an update. <laughs> so we're bringing it back, don't worry. There's a notary signature and their commission expiration. And let's bring that stamp in here. And oh, this is an acknowledgement. And this does not say, so this doesn't, so this certificate doesn't tell us that it's been done online. So we have to add in our disclosure. So every notarial session you do, needs to have this disclosure that it was notarized online. Um, so we've created the disclosure, just pull it in, notarized online using two-way audio video uh, technology along with two-step ID proofing. Um, and actually we'll change that because New York, we're adding a third step. So um, that's really it. It's all drag and drop. And uh, your signer is gonna show up under here. So if we went Chris to sign, let me pull his signature out here. Chris, I believe we're on page, yeah, we're on page five still. Perfect. All right. And now if we wanted to go to the next one, like, oh, Chris, what is this? Oh, this is just a, you know, what is this, Chris? These are receipts from our hurricane. Okay. So what do we need to do with this? Anything? Um, I just need to acknowledge that this is what was paid. Got it. All right. Let's take a look at, I'm on page 71. Okay. I'm going to have you sign that page for me. And then I'll even throw the date in there for you. Okay, now we can't notarize this page, it's blank. There's no notarial certificate, so what do we do? We're gonna add in an acknowledgement. So, all the way down at the end of the document, 
as soon as it loads here. This is a big document, so give it a time, give it some, here we go, there we go. All right, we have standard acknowledgement and draft forms for you. They are state compliant across the country. Uh, so you just add them by clicking add or remove them if you, oops, I don't want the acknowledgement, I wanted the jurat. So you can add the jurat instead. You can remove the acknowledgement. And then again, it's just drag and drop. So you're gonna bring in you know, your state, your county, Here's the checkbox. This is an online. Now, see, this already has the disclosure on it, so we don't need to add the disclosure. And we'll add the date and we'll change the date format. I just want to confirm for everyone who's watching uh, currently, uh, what we're seeing here isn't on the recording. We're seeing the two individuals here, right? talking and sharing, but the video is not recording this actual document. Is that correct? Correct. So the document does. So here's one thing we'll show you. So let me go ahead and we'll complete this and I'll show you. Um, so you, I, I assume you guys get the tools, right? It's easy. It's drag and drop. You do get a whiteout tool. Um, we know notaries can't use whiteout, but um, Sometimes online you need it. Like if there's wording where you need to place your stamp, you have to be able to wipe that out so you can put your stamp there. Um, you know, whatever it looks like. So we do have the whiteout tool. There is the checkbox. There's a scribble feature here. Um, I'm not exactly sure why we have it unless you want to, you know, draw a smiley face or something like that. But um, <laughs> you do have a squiggly tool. Uh, again, the add the direct and acknowledgement, the disclosure, all the notary tools are going to be underneath the notary credentials, the date, time, free, and then you can also upload a document. So if you're acting as an authorized representative for an I-9, you can have them upload their driver's license, their passport, whatever it is that will attach to the document when it's completed and go back to, you know, the signer or the company that they're going back to. Okay. Let's complete the session real quick. All right, so right now you can advise the center, you know, give us a moment, it's just saving the document and the audio video recording, and then it should take you to the next screen whenever you're done, ta-da. All right, so at the end of your session, you're just gonna say whatever this was. Um, if it's not listed there, just check other and say, you know, whatever it was, and then submit. And now you're taken to your, uh, back to your dashboard. So to answer your question, Marcy, here's what it looks like in your journal after the session's completed. You got the date and time, you have all the signers and their IDs are gonna show up here. Here's the document. No, it's not recording right now the annotations as they happen on the document in the video. However, you do get, if it's a bring your own transaction, you're going to get a copy of the document for one year for your records. And you're also going to get the audit log, which is going to tell you everything that happened on that document, who placed it, where it was placed, um, and all the way down to applying your digital certificate. And you'll get that for every single document for one year. Right, and that audit log will, are you guys capturing the IP addresses of both the signer and the notary, or at least the notary? Um, let's see, it is not, but that's not a problem. I don't see it, oh, it might be somewhere. I don't see it, we'll ask our developers to add that. That's not okay, a big great. deal at all. That's not a problem at all. We can actually put that performed by Chris and then put the IP address on there. And then, uh, okay, so the session date and time, digital certificate applied, uh, the session's completed. There's any notes that I added, or this, I'm sorry, this was the document that I typed in. There's no notes added, one stamp, uh, uh, one acknowledgement stamp. And then if you had a doc prep tech fee, it would show up there. And here's your video. And let me turn my video back on over here, guys. Uh, and you can also download it if you need to as well for your own, you know, putting it in your own repository. Uh, so that's really uh, it. I mean, you wanna see it from the signer side, we can let Chris share his screen. Are there any technology requirements for both the signer and the notary? So typically runs better when the notary is on a desktop or a laptop, obviously. But is there a preferred browser? Do you work on both? Uh, you know. Uh, so it does work on both. Uh, obviously, and you'll find this like 
if you can get it to work on Safari, good. But Chrome is, is preferred. Um, we are working on cleaning up the mobile browser for signers. Notaries are not able to use their phones or their, uh, they can use their tablets. They just can't do anything on their phones. If you do try and do it, on, if you try and log into your notary account on your phone, it's going to block you say, hey, can't do that. Um, <laughs> so, but yes, signers, we, anybody recommend Chrome and obviously it's going to work better on the, on the computer versus uh, a phone. All right, guys, go ahead. So this is looking at the signer dashboard. Yeah, so this is my dashboard. Here's a list of all my sessions uh, that I have signed for. You can see it's report three is completed. Click on actions. It's going to show my ID. It's going to show the notary who it was when that permission expires. We have access to view and download document and same audit logs. Just you won't have to the ex access to the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So video is part of your notary journal. Um, if anyone wants access to that, depending on the state, there are laws all around how they how they have to access that. And most of the time, it's it's just going to the notary directly asking for for a copy of it. Does the signer have that same year access to their document? Or yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, we have access to the invoices. So you can see here how much the signer pays. Yep. And you have the ability to download the receipt. And what is the time frame for the payout to the notary? Is it weekly or monthly? It depends on what they choose in their profile. It's daily, weekly, or monthly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Questions, anyone? No questions. Were they that good or? <laughs> We're that good. Take that as a win. Uh, yeah. Not let's a take Tuesday. that as a <laughs> Marcy. Well, we are available if anyone does have questions. Again, that number is 800 381 8240. If you want to email us, it's info, so info at notarizedgenie.com. Um, and the website is notarizedgenie.com. And that promo code, again, is PRO30, 30% off for your first three months on the pro plan. Right. And, and now for New York notaries, is there a wait list or can they check back with you periodically? They can go have? ahead and create their profiles as soon as we can. We'll start approving them. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's perfect. And will they still get that discount, the pro discount, if Absolutely. they go ahead and do that now? Yep. Wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Any other, we're going to count down. Any other questions, concerns, comments? We're certainly happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, thank you, Beth. <laughs> Looking forward. All right. Well, I certainly appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. I know how busy you are. And thank you to everyone who attended. Again, I know it's busy and it's month end. And I always like to say thank you for making sure that you guys are following the right rules and doing the right things and learning and expanding your knowledge base. So we'll go ahead and get this recorded, obviously. And we're going to post it on the NINA site so you can share with your friends and coworkers and employers. And thank you all again for attending. We really appreciate you. Yes, thank you. Thanks for having us, Marcy. You're welcome. Thank you. Look forward to meeting all of you. <laughs>